Both in the battlefield and the business world, one faces difficult situations that require that split-second uh, decision. Keeping that in mind, how do you define uh, the situational leadership that you talk about? Let me um, make a distinction between managing and leading. Most people, most of the time, manage. And by that I mean they're given a situation they can't change. That you're given this office in this building at this time and these are the resources that you have and you need to manage them as best you can. Uh, and, and most people work really hard to, to, to make those resources that they have available to them and the constraints that they have to work with and make it work. And, and that's what managing is all about. You're, your territory is limited to this state or this country and that's what you've got. Leaders need to be willing to challenge the status quo. There's a quote by George Bernard Shaw that I'll probably mangle, but it is something to the effect that the reasonable man sees the way the world is and conforms himself to that world. The unreasonable man sees the way the world is and insists on conforming the world to him there would be no progress without the unreasonable man. And Marines, I think, uh, would fall within that unreasonable category. They don't accept the status quo. They don't accept that these are constraints. And so when we talk about situational leadership, what we're talking about from a leadership standpoint is the ability to see beyond the constraints, to find ways around them, over them, or through them in order to advance yourself or your organization towards those long-term goals, to be creative and to not be hemmed in by constraints that other people think are real, um, but leaders usually find a way around.